Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am in my dressing gown in the shed. Ah, uh, right. Ah, uh, why am I in my dressing gown in the shed? Ah, uh, reason being is because it's Saturday and I have had a huge lion. Um, I won't even tell you what the time is just now because it's embarrassing. Ah, uh, right. I recorded a vlog on Thursday. I have tried to upload it. Oh, God knows how many times. In fact, the problem is it uploads, but YouTube will just not process it. I've tried re-encoding it. I've tried facing north with one leg in the air while whistling Dixie, and it, and it still will not process. So I'm trying another one. And the problem is, then the huge problem here is that during that vlog, <laughs> I go, I have all my emails um, open and I, I, I answer them all and then I delete them. So there are so many people that I want, should be giving a shout out to, but I can't remember. They're gone. They're gone. So I'll, I'll start off with the ones I can remember. First one. There is a man that lives in Livingston in Scotland that goes by the name of John G. Blair. It was his birthday in the week. So he's a very old man who I have a lot of time for because he's an absolute head case and uh, his wife got in touch and asked if I would give a belated shout out for his birthday. So John, my friend, happy 50th, mate. I'm really chuffed for you. Uh, cock. Uh, anyway, uh, that's, that was John. And uh, who's the other one? Uh, there were so many that I can't remember now. Uh, it doesn't matter because you're all in shock in the fact that I look like I've been dragged through a, dragged through a hedge backwards. Um, I want to do a shout out for Mr. Milligan. Uh, Mr. Milligan, you know who you are. Young Mr. Milligan, not old Mr. Milligan that comes into... I'll not go down that road. I'll not go down that road. For the fear of embarrassing somebody. Thomas came in and gave me this little guy here. This is the the, the Kang side Vamo box 25 watt. Takes a single 18 350. For the way I vape um, with RTAs, which is normally about the 0 0.8, 1.3 um, range, I normally like to vape at about 17 to 20 watts maybe this is perfect it's absolutely perfect it's the cutest tiniest little thing i've ever come across now if it was passed through it would be just oh so awesome but it's not passed through it does charge very quick though but just remember it i think I wasn't interested in the price, but people started posting the price. Uh, I think you can get these from other shores uh, for something like £13, which is a bloody brilliant, because it works really well. It is pulse width modulation, um, and I, I wouldn't recommend going nuts trying to sub ohm with it um, or anything like that so there we go on top the reaper yes i will be doing a review of this but um you know for a, a, a tank uh, an rta that is quite <laughs> um it's, it's not one that i would expect to see a lot of but the funny thing is, in the space of one day, I saw two people coming into the shop with one of these tanks, the Reaper. Um, and they all said the same thing. They think that the flavour's really good, it works really well, it's really easy to build on. Um, and the other things that they say I shall cover in the review. What else? During the week, my finger slipped and I bought this. This is the Fugatti um, DNA 200 mod. Um, I... <laughs> why, why did I go and buy this? Well, 
I, honesty first, it's always the best policy. Um, I did get this at cost. Um, I was offered it to review at cost price. Uh, and I and whilst I can't afford it right now, or I should not be buying stuff like this right now, because uh, it still wasn't cheap, um, I like Dave's work. I've, you know, I just couldn't pass it up because it's it's just, it's it's nice. It is nice. Um, I'll cut, I'll be reviewing this. And they've got the aeronaut on top. And somebody on uh, my Facebook page said, why, oh why? Are you vaping that at only 25.6 watts? Um, because that's the way I like to vape. Um, what else can you say? Um, I'm not smoking cigarettes, so who gives a shit what wattage I'm vaping at? 25.6 watts is rather high for me, actually. I mean, I still get loads of vapour. I mean, here we go. What's wrong with vaping at that level? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, anyway, that's a little rant off. Um, but yes, the Fugatti review shall be coming for that in the new year. I am very, very, very happy with that purchase. Um, what else? I'm, I'm going to try and keep this short because I'm, I'm I just I couldn't go through the whole uploading process and um, shout out for Keith and Mags and the family. Thank you guys. Uh, I got a lovely Christmas card from Keith and um, as always to my Scottish slash Welsh friend. Thank you. Uh, we shall have we shall have a curry in the new year. Um, I, I, do you know there's so much I want to say but I'm, I'm just worried about time uh, seven minutes in oh, oh um, look look. there's the K-Loud with its new little tank in the bottom um, and thank you to you know who you are um, I think it, it, that converts the K-Loud into 3.2 mil capacity um, funky yeah pretty cool I'll try and show this off in the new year. Uh, try and give you a better look at it. Uh, but thank you to Min Wu for sending that on. Um, I have been vaping mostly this week with uh, Scopes Peach. Um, Gans Vanilla Custard, Trip Hammer Cream Tea, Goose Juice by Quackstar. Goose Juice has got, there's another thing that I've just remembered. I don't know, there's a coupon code for Quackstar's Juice Factory just now. Uh, that gives something like 12 or 20% off. I cannot remember what it is now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I've been using the my Fog and Sailors a lot this week uh, with the Crow Atty. That's an evil drip tip. I'm enjoying that. Um, I have been using this a lot this week. My Evolver with the Narda. Yes. The Narda got number one spot for me uh, for the year for my favourite dripper. It's my most used dripper as well, uh, and that's it's simple. It's very very simple. It's made very very well, and the flavour is excellent from it. And it's not it's not a full on cloud chasing uh, dripper. It's more about flavour, and that's why I love it. It's really nice. Uh, it is really nice, and and I, if there are going to be some going up around Christmas time, uh, so if you check out the website, thank you to Graham. Um, Graham, uh, I don't know if you was give me a little Christmas present. Um, with Todd's reviews in the back, which I'm, I'm, cheers down the hatch, slange. Um, can you see him? He's got CJ. He's got a bit of 
He's got a bit of something hanging from the bottom of his mouth. I don't know what it is. You are a nutter. You are an absolute nutter dog. Uh, what else? Oh, did I show you this already? Did I show you these? Uh, Tesla. Uh, the 100 watt TC uh, Nano. Uh, this is their steampunk edition. That arrived. Now, it comes in a box and it came with this little sub tank as well. Now, the sub tank, I can actually take it down to one hole. Ah, I can try. There we go. And down at one hole is perfect for me. That's it, that's quite an open draw for a, a, a sub-home tank. Fully open. Very wide. However, the thing about this little tank is, and I'm not a, a huge fan of Tesla. I, I don't, you know, I've found their chips in the past to be a bit, uh, um, and maybe the build quality a bit, uh, but this works this works well uh, this does work well um, I have no issue and this is a heavy beastie and and I think it's pretty sexy I do, I do like the look of it I like that but this tank I have no idea where you get the coils I've not researched that. I have no idea where you get the coils from how much they're going to cost or anything like that I've not even checked to see um, what kind of coils are in it yet. I just threw some liquid in for shits and giggles and uh, and went to work one day. And I put in uh, my, my custards. You know, I put in some Grant's Vanilla Custard. Best flavour out a sub -ohm tank I've ever come across. And, and, it, and, it, and all week it's been bugging me. I, I really do think it's just because of how short it is. It doesn't hold a great deal of liquid, but it's really short, and, and I think that's the, the magical thing behind it. Come on, at the end of the day, it's a bit of cotton with a wire that heats up and, and vaporizes juice. They all do the same thing. It really is nice. There is a, 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 when you're vaping it, it's kind of push the button. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's a, a, a little delay when you fire it. Uh, there is. There's no two ways about it. The other thing is that, you know, you've got the fire button there. If you pick this mod up and you're trying to vape with it, um, because it's all textured on one side, if you're not looking at it, then it's, you feel the texture from the this here. And you think, why is it not firing? Maybe it's just me being an absolute idiot. But uh, that's that's that. Um, they also have um, this one they sent on. I think this is 80 watts, I think. And it takes a single 18650. They have uh, two covers come with it. You've got this one, which is ribbed for her pleasure. And you have one that has no ribs on it. That's the, the Wismec Armor Plus, which I've discussed in the past. And that's a Spartan Mods little drip tip, which I thought went really nice on this. I am enjoying using the devices. I have no idea what coil that is, but it's at 30 watts. This is a 0 0.28 ohm coil, which I am enjoying. I'll not like it. Yes. Um. Right. That. 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 Than that. You know about all that. You've seen all the reviews that have gone up. Um. I. Oh. Christmas tree. That's it. The Christmas decorations are up. That's what I stretch to for the shed this year. Sorry. I just, I'm, I'm, I've got so much to do and so little time. And I'm a bloke. Uh, a lazy bloke. Christmas decorations in the house. But, um, yes, there we go. Um, oh. I would just like to say that for the third time, yes, the third time, in a row, yours truly, fat bloke in a shed, in his dressing gown with bad hair, is the UK's number one reviewer. 
according to a vote on Eastside Click. Thank you. I know you just voted for the dog. I know you did. I mean, it's I'm not daft. You voted for TG. There's nothing else to it. I'm just lucky that my name was there and his wasn't, because I know how the voting would have gone otherwise. Um, and congratulations to Dean the Vaping Biker for being a second. And on that note, um, I shall say something loud and clear here. Um, don't do drama. I'm interested in drama. People can call me names. People can go on rants and people can throw their toys out the pram and slag me off and slag other people off and whatnot. At the end of the day, my conscience is clear, very clear. I have done out wrong. I have not set out to insult or upset anybody. And that's it. I, I really don't care what people say about me. Um... It just makes them look like dicks. Not me, them. There we go. Down with drama. Down with drama. Um, now, now. Speaking of drama, right. Um, well, it's not drama. This isn't drama. Uh, and and I, and I talked about this in the first vlog and I went into a lot of detail and uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. Um, the new Nicotine Alliance. Uh, I, I mentioned this when I was in Ireland. I bumped into Dave Dorn, which was an awesome experience. The man is just a powerhouse. Um, I, and, uh, and I got talking to him and... And I have said in the past, I, I, I wish I, I could get involved more in advocacy and whatnot, and not in a great way, but just in a little way, um, because I'd like to, and I'd like to do more about it. Um, on a side note, as far as advocacy goes, I understand why, and this is just relating to some things that have happened, uh, I understand why people are so passionate about it. I understand why people get upset by other people not doing anything. I really do relate to that. Um, I mean, just um, the guys from Vapors and Power, uh, they did some new leaflets. And uh, that video I did for Right to Vape, uh, where you could write to your MP, ask, and you know, you went to a website, right, you go to a website called Right to Vape, um, and uh, you put in your postcode and it gives you all your MPs. Uh, email addresses and who you can contact in your area. You type one message out and it emails all of them, um, which is great. Let me put a poster up in the shop. Uh, yeah, got you. Uh, just this beginning, well, this is Saturday on Monday. Was it Monday I put it up? It was Monday. Now, me in the shop uh, that I work in, so there's a poster, right to vape. Um, and uh, it gives you all the reasons why you should be doing it and stuff like that. One person out of, let's just say, five, two, two, just say about 500 people that have been in the shop, one person has asked me about it, and that was my stalker, Liam. Uh, he asked me about it and what was that about. Nobody else. Nobody else. That in itself is 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 heartbreaking, and I understand why the people that um, go on about instead of questioning what somebody's doing, why aren't you doing something about it? And, and I can understand why they feel that way, uh, because the 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 general, you know, if it's not directly affecting somebody at that moment in time. You know, if I, if, once again, this is, I only work in a shop, it's not my shop, but, uh, you know, if somebody was to walk into the shop and say, I'd like a uh, three menthol sensation and 18 milligram, please, and I was to say, I'm sorry, I can't sell that to you because of something to do with TBD, then they would probably do something about it. But because it's not affecting them now, people don't care. 
people don't care. Um, and 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 that's sad. But I think that's just a reflection of the human condition. Um, you know, until petrol prices hit a certain point, then we go crazy. But as they creep up to a certain point, we don't say anything. We just do the British thing and go, grrr, arr. But then you have a small pocket of people that are out there, you know, waving flags and shouting and screaming and saying, let's do something about it. Um, well, I would like to help those people now. And this takes me back to the New Nicotine Alliance. Um, now, I put a post up saying, New Nicotine Alliance, what do you know about them? Um, it wasn't a case of tell me what they do. It was a case of what do you think they do? Because I was really interested in, in what the public perception of this outfit were. Nothing. Very little feedback at all. Um, which was quite frightening. Um, even if I go to their website, um, it is looking through the website at first, and I've spent a lot of time in it, it is hard to find out what they have done. Now, they are a charity organisation and they accept donations for, you know, because they have to travel and they have overnight accommodation, they have to pay for things and whatnot. So they're a charity, a registered charity organisation. So as a registered charity organisation, I think they have a duty to let people know what they are doing, exactly what they're doing. And I do not think they are very good at doing that. Yes, I do not think they are very good at doing that. Uh, because it's not apparent on their website what exactly they, they have done. It says what they do, but not what they have done. And I think that's bad. Um, it sounds like I'm coming out in a downer on them. However, somebody did post uh, a link to their newsletter, which if you join and subscribe to them, they send you a newsletter, which tells you what they have been doing. When I came across that link and I was able to read through their past activities, then you see how much these guys are actually doing. They're going out and fighting the odds for vaping. And it was really good to read. Uh, and it was really interesting. And you saw how much effort and how much work they are putting into this whole thing. Now, they've asked me, and, I, and I'm saying that I'm, I am, as always, my vlogs are, you know, look at me. I come out to the shed, I haven't got a monkey's what I'm going to talk about or how I'm going to say things. I don't think about things. I'm just I'm just shooting from the hip. It's pew, pew, pew. Uh, I'm just going for it. That's why I piss some people off sometimes because I don't think stuff through really. I'm just saying what I think, which can be dangerous sometimes. <laughs> I was invited, and I better open up uh, my emails here and actually read them. Uh, Dave did get in touch, and I was dun, 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 invited to become a new Nicotine Alliance associate. Um, an invitation has been extended, and uh, they just what I can do for them is I can feature the new Nicotine Alliance logo on some of my videos, my websites, give the organisation a mention every so often, help with awareness and hopefully gain more support for the actions we take. Now I replied to Dave after that email, basically saying everything that I, my concerns that I've said to you on film. Um, so I was totally open and honest and then I said I would get back to them, I wanted to do some more homework and investigate it because I didn't just want to go and say, yes, it would be cool um, and not really know what was going on. But I'm going to go back to them and I'm going to say yes after investigating. And I will be asking if I can get more details on exactly what it is they're doing, when they're doing it, how they're doing it and everything. And I will, during my little vlogs, I will make a point of raising awareness for them and trying to help them out as much as I can because I think it's a worthwhile thing to do. Bada boom. There we go. Actually, they might tell me to do one now after hearing everything I've just said. That's if they actually watch this. Who knows? Um, but there we go. 
Okay, I'm at 25 minutes. This is going to be a really quick one. Right, I'm going to encode this video. I'm going to put it in low quality. So hopefully it'll be a smaller file size. It'll upload quicker. Uh, so I apologize for the quality, but I think the, that it's more important. It's probably a good idea that you don't see me in that higher resolution anyway. Um, I have moved all my reviews and videos out to New Year. Um, I will, because I have, I'm, I am, you know, because I'm a guy, I don't get organised for Christmas until a couple of Christmas Eve. So I'm actually starting to get the cold sweats on now because I realise that I have still got so much shit to do. Uh, so I'm not going to have the time for doing reviews. If I can, I will put out the odd video. If I can. Uh, I'm not committing to anything, but if I can, I will. What was that? Wind. Did you just hear the wind? Yeah, it was windy. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm, uh, do you know, I, I once again, I can only apologise to all the people that emailed me. And I did reply um, on video. And, and I'm really sorry that um, um, oh, I'll, I'll mention this as well because this is uh, Smoke Without Fire, Andy from Smoke Without Fire, you'll have seen his videos very, very professional videos Smoke Without Fire, he asked me if I would uh, do a little plug for his uh, vaping videos banned in Europe um, he asked me if I would, I would share it and I said no um, I said no because uh, this is just my take on it, okay? Don't hate me. Um, whilst it was a good video, I didn't necessarily agree with the video because it was banned on a. It, it was. I think the majority of it was based on a leaked document that may or may not suggest that um, you know advertising e cigs, uh, forums, reviews, and all that kind of stuff could possibly be banned in the UK. It was a leaked document. Is it true? Is it not? Who knows? Um, but because it's not, for me, it's not a hundred percent fact. It's kind of mm, could couldn't be true. That's why I didn't share it. Um, but uh, he's got a video coming up about the whole Harvard investigations and findings and diacetyl and how they basically screwed that one up. Um, so I will be sharing that one once he does it. It's a nice guy. Um, I did um, see I'm trying to find if those emails but my email is just huge um, a lot of people got in touch about uh, shout out to Jack Ryber um, people the the starter kit video I did Avid was it Avid? Vivid? can't remember now um, a lot of people seem to like that um, and it's quite strange is because people then started saying well you should do more of these you should do this you should do that about starting and whatnot and uh, Matt Cully had after I got this email Matt Cully sucked my mod put up a video about the whole going from being a smoker to being a vapor which is very very good uh, so people that wrote to me asking about doing more videos like that, go and check out Suck My Mod and uh, watch the, their recent video that Matt put up. And don't let the beard frighten you. I know it's, it's kind of scary. Um, that I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. Once again, thank you for to all those people that voted. Thank you to people that subscribe. Thank you to all that. Um, Something else I'm going to mention uh, before I go. Um, I apologise for the fact that I do not do giveaways. As in, I don't do videos where I say, all oh, the shit that I got for review, uh, I'm going to put it in uh, and run a raffle and if your name comes up, you win it. Sorry. Um... I'd rather do something with it and get some money for it and put it to a good cause. That is just the way, that's what I do, okay? That, that's, and I know a lot of other reviewers choose to do that. 
and do good in their own way in the background and all the rest of it, um, awesome. Everybody to their own and do their own thing. Uh, I'm not in any way saying that they're doing it wrong because I know they're doing other stuff, good stuff in the background. Um, but sometimes a lot of people get on at me via email and whatnot for not doing giveaways. Um, so sorry, but that uh, just won't be happening. I would rather just give stuff to folk that I know need it, not people that come up first in a list. I just, yeah, sorry. Anyway, um, and on that note, I'm away, and I would just like to say thank you, thank you, and I better go for a bath. Will I go for a shower? I don't know. Can you see TNG in the background there? You alright, bye? You alright there, mate? You okay? You coming up? TJ, want some coffee? What's that? <gasps> Come for the coffee. Ah, uh, you're talking to me now, you shite. Oh, right, hit the stop button. Sorry. Have a nice weekend, get Well, weekend will probably be... If this even uploads, who knows? Let's wait and see. Ta-ra!